What up y'all? Welcome back to the video. Today, I'm finally gonna go into detail about the situation with my car. I gotta do a few things. I gotta go to the bank, and then I gotta go get my hair cut. Also gotta go to the grocery store. I'm gonna take you on me with this vlog today, uh, and then also talk about the car. So, got a lot to do today, so let's go ahead and get started, baby. Heading on to the bank. Uh, gotta head to two banks, pulling out money at one to go deposit another because the one that I have to deposit into doesn't do online transfers. 2019, soon to be 2020, and you'd figure banks figure that out by now. Ooh, man, brand new crisp bills. These are so hard to count. Look at you could paper cut somebody with these things. They're so sharp. Oh. Starting to warm up a little bit. So here's what's been going on with the car. The first issue they found, internal damage of the engine. They kept it till February, late January, early February. That was the first issue. Second issue arrived. That issue happened Labor Day. It is currently November, two months, and they still have my car. What they're telling me, hold on, hold on. I gotta cross traffic real quick. Walking this street, crossing it, it's tough because sometimes it's a walking lane, right? But sometimes people don't see you when they turn that corner. So they'll be zooming by until they look last minute. They get, oh, there's a guy walking. Labor Day, September, car breaks down the middle of the road in Alice. It's a vlog, if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna leave a link up here and down below, check it out. That was the latest issue with the car. chilling out in this little this little steps area. They got it on September 3rd, they've had the vehicle. They let me know about a week later from there that a heavy technician is looking at the vehicle. A few weeks later, they come back saying that it needs a new long block. The thing that Ford was arguing with me is that my warranty ends ended this year. So right now, at the, at the time, I'm out of warranty and I'm gonna, this is all gonna be out of my pocket. This is what they're telling me, right? Well, hold on, let me move. It's getting a little warm right here. Let me move a little bit. After Ford has come back with the information, they stated that car needs a new long block or a new engine, that Ford will cover everything. Even though it's just outside of warranty, Ford will cover everything but a hundred bucks. That'll come out of my pocket. Uh, that'll give me a two year service warranty on the engine on unlimited miles in those two years. It'll cover the rental and it shouldn't affect the value of my car. This was a month ago they told me this, right? When they told me that, I was thinking, you know, let me go out and look for vehicles and see what the other vehicle, because I've been wanting a truck, my car has been paid off, and I'm thinking, you know what, let me go figure out what the value is of this car, right? Now, at this time, they're currently working on it, so I don't have it physically with me, I'm in a rental. So I went to a bunch of dealerships uh, in town to talk to them, to kind of get a feel for how much my car is worth, kind of just trying to figure out a price range. And this whole process that I did, I went on, took like two to three weeks. You know, I spoke to a lot of dealers. The vehicle that I want is a, is a, is a Ram 1500. It doesn't have to be four wheel drive, you know, nothing fancy. It will be used, it's not gonna be brand new. I'll go ahead and show you right now video footage of some of the trucks that I went to go look at. But one I really liked in particular, that the guy was worth, I think it was a 2018, no, 2016. Ram 1500 V8. They were gonna give me 6,000 for a trade-in of my car. So I was like, all right, I don't wanna have any issues with my car again. Let me go ahead and go to the local credit union to see what kind of offers I, I can get. Gave me a nice offer, real low interest rate, real competitive. 
Uh, and I was like, okay. So they got me approved for up to 20,000, really, really low interest rate. So I was like, all right, so I know I have that in mind before I actually make a deal. So one thing I've noticed though, speaking to a lot of these, a lot of these dealers, there's a lot, they always have like a two, three step window. The first guy I you speak to, just kind of gives you the rundown, shows you the vehicle, test drives it and all that. And when you finally sit down and start negotiating, I noticed they always leave you. Cause I never, I never accept the first offer, right? So they know, I noticed they leave the desk. They're like, all right, we'll be back. Let me go speak to my finance guy or whatever. They leave and they come back. All right, we can do this. And I always never accept the second one. And they all, all of them, all dealer, all different dealerships, even the sales reps said, did the same, same variation. They, they just get up, go speak to somebody, come back. Denied the second one as well. They get up and they go back. The third time on all of them that I spoke to, the third one, the finance director or the main guy in the back that you never see, he comes in and tells you, hey man, we like the deal or whatever, we wanna make this deal. Kinda of like the last push. And they give you another, and they gave me another, a third offer. They, every single dealership always had a third offer where that third guy comes out and talks to me. So after all that, I found, I like one of these trucks. I'm like, all right, go ahead and sales tax title out the door. Give me that in writing, uh, and then I'll go ahead and swing by my bank. At the time, they didn't know that I already had approval. So at the time, I already had the letter uh, of the bank. I just used that excuse for me to think about it. You know, I didn't wanna just, I was so close to just say, let's do it. You know, sight unseen. I didn't know what the issue was, what happened with my car. Ford already told me they were gonna cover everything but a hundred bucks. So I was like, okay, all I had to do was pay a hundred dollars, give them the dealership, the title, which has the new vehicle. And now I got a loan about 15,000 uh, and a new truck. But I was like, I was thinking, you know, let me sit on it for 24 hours and see how I feel about it the next day. Now, after that, hold on, let me move real quick because it's getting hot. Now it's been a couple weeks after that deal. I've seen vehicles already. I know what I like. Now I get a call from Ford telling me we can't offer that deal we pre previously gave you because your current vehicle is out of warranty. And it was only been a few months since it's been out of warranty. So the issue that I'm trying to argue with them is the fact the second time it happened is based off the original issue that happened early in the year. So Ford is arguing that it's, no, it's not a long block that's needed, it's a short block, and that the, this repair is not the same as a previous repair that was done early in the year, which is covered under warranty. And they're like, you know what, Mr. Gomez, we cannot offer the full, full repair up to $100 that it previously gave me. That is no longer valid. We can offer you 50% of the coverage of whatever the, the price will be, and then the rental but you'd have to, I'd have to come up with the other 50%. And I was like, nah, man, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Now this is Ford, right, and not the dealership. I'm currently, at this point in the conversation, I'm currently talking to a customer service rep from Ford and no longer the dealership. Dealership communicates with Ford, Ford communicates with me. My argument is the issue that happened is similar to what the repairs they covered while it was under warranty. So I call the dealership where my car is at and let them know, hey, is it a possibility that the issues happening now, uh, the causation of what happened to the repairs originally done early in the year. Because in the receipts that they gave me, it said coolant leak into the piston head needs repair. The first early in the year, that the last time it happened, that was under warranty. Same thing with this one. I took it in, they called me and said, hey, we got found coolant in the piston head. It's the same issue. How are they not gonna cover within a few months? And I had only put about 2,000 miles on the car since the previous repair was done. So I was fighting all this with Ford and they, oh, what up, what up? And they finally come back and tell me we'll cover 60%, not 50. I'm like, no man, no. I hang up the phone, find out online that there's a lot of issues similar to what's going on with my car. Spoke to Ford again. Uh, at the same time, now I got dealers calling me uh, about, hey, we got a truck in if you want to come look at it. The one that I originally liked, they already sold, but they're trying to sell me some higher marked ones and I told them I wasn't interested in all that. But my argument with Ford is like, look man, I feel like we've had an agreement verbally already, like a spoken contract, and now you guys want to back out from that contract. The guy was like, all right, let me call you back and then, and then I'll let you know, see what they can do. Now Ford calls me back and tells me, or they offer me a situation where, look, we'll go ahead and cover 90% of the coverage and the rental. And all I have to do is pay, take care of the 
And at this point, it's already been over two months. They've had my car and I'm like, you know what? Give me that in writing, shoot me an email stating that, and we got a deal. Sure enough, later that day, I get an email stating they're gonna cover everything but $490, which is roughly 10%. I let them know, yeah, I'll go ahead and take that deal. So that is currently my situation right now. We are roughly a week before Thanksgiving. Still don't have my car back, still in the rental. Went ahead and let the dealership know I accepted their deal to go ahead and get started working on the car. Ford told me they would give me a two year warranty. They would honor the two year warranty, unlimited miles in those two years. I was like, all right. Once all is said and done, I have my car back. Only paid that 490 and they take care of the rental. I'll do a video, let you guys know. That's currently what I'm looking at though. Currently is financial situation. I ha I'll have that $500 in emergency fund. I might minimum pay everything and just hoard cash just in case they come back stating that, you know what, we can't offer that 90% that value. I don't think they would because they already have it in writing, but worst case scenario, I might just get up to a thousand and just hang on to that at least. But that's currently where I'm at. Not getting the new truck yet. I'm gonna currently still rock the car once it gets back. It is an absolute gorgeous day out right now. Took some shots currently of the lake. I don't have a ND filter for the for the 50 millimeter, only for the 10 to 18. So all the B-roll shots are currently done on the 10 to 18. Yeah, I'm gonna head back, set up a haircut appointment, and then groceries, and then the gym. Somewhere in between all that. Finances, so far looking all right, man. Looking on, knock out the next second highest credit card that I got. I really don't want to get that car loan, so I was really struggling not to get it. But nice if I can give me one of those Raptors. Nice 40 or $50,000 vehicle. I was looking at all Rams, 1500s, so lower 20,000s, by 24 and below. You know, miles, roughly 60, 70,000 miles on it. Uh, I did like the few that I took video of, but the fact that they sold it right away, I kind of took it as a sign. It says maybe I shouldn't go be purchasing this thing right now. Kind of letting the beard grow. I just, I don't know how I feel about it, because see all this side over here and this side? It's just all in patches, man. And when I, when I let it grow, this just comes out full, but everything around it just doesn't look good, man. In Austin, you need bags when you go grocery shopping. Show you real quick what I bought for the week. Ooh, it's a nice truck right here. It's a nice one. See, I'm noticing all these vehicles now that I'm in, in the market or was in the market for one. 2019 Ford Fusion. It's nice. Same color as mine. Uh, just six years newer. I've taken the camera off the tripod. I want to see if that's better handling because currently right now I'm holding it with my hand. You can see my arm. Uh, and to see if that's better for me to film while I'm inside HEB. Uh, I don't think they'll tell me anything because I've done it before at a different HEB down south and they, and they didn't tell me anything. But you know, you'll never know unless you try, man. Izzy from Great Clips, shout outs, appreciate you. Really, I was really debating where to cut it off now. I like it the way it looks. budget 60 bucks just went over like three dollars not too bad a couple dollars over
Then I go ahead and hit the gym, and then I work on my October budget video. That'll be uploading uh, probably next week. I'm, so I'm kind of excited about what Ford offered me on my car. I just don't know. I'm just kind of still unsure, you know, like because they backed off already on the last offer, and then now they, they're going to give me this great offer. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to hold it to them. But next vlog about my vehicle I will talk about is once I get it in my hands, like actually have the keys and and everything's already said and done, then I'll make a video on that. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you liked it, if you had any kind of enjoyment, any kind of value from it, smash the like button. And holla back at your boy. Peace out.